Hi, this is Justice. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the new features in Rebel 5 in the Layers panel. So the Layers panel has a couple of changes here. Obviously, you can see Pigments, which is available in the Pro version. And then we have some options here. Loft Transparency, this was in the previous version. And let's go ahead and we're going to draw a couple of squares here to demonstrate lock transparency. All right, so here's a square. I'm going to choose lock transparency. I'm going to take an orange color. We're going to go right over the top. And this is only going to go onto pixels that are on the screen, even if they're mostly transparent. All right, so let's make a little note here. All right, there we can see lock transparency. So we're gonna look at next the masking fluid layers. So this it has uh, some properties that are very similar to lock transparency, but therefore the other layers that you're masking. So we're gonna make three squares here. Make one that has a medium level of transparency and one that is very light. All right, so with this layer selected, we're going to choose the masking option. So we're going to turn on masking. We're going to choose mask opaque. And now we have to go to a different layer and we're going to draw with a red line over the top here. And what I want you to see when we turn off our masking layer is that we have where this was very, very opaque. This is going to block out almost everything that's going to mask out almost all of the uh, new paint that's gone down. And right here you can see where it's got a medium level of opacity is going to block out about half of it. And over here where it was a very light opacity is going to just mask out just a tiny little bit. So let's turn this back on so you can see that. So now we have another option called mask transparent. Let's go up here to one of our influence layers and you can turn the layer on and off so that the mask won't affect certain layers and will affect others. All right, so we're here. And you're gonna see here when we paint across that, that it does exactly the opposite. So it allows you to paint directly on just the pixels that are there, but on a, a separate layer. Now this is great, different than lock transparency, which is painting on top of the pixels. So it's a destructive action. This is a non-destructive action. And of course you can undo. So with this new option, what I can do is I can paint on top of other artwork and then I can turn that on and off. So this gives me a lot more flexibility, a lot more control. And this is a non-destructive process, which means you can turn it on and off. You can play with the different modes to get different types of effects. And this is a really easy way to quickly lay down color uh, without having to worry about whether or not you're going to be inside the lines or inside of the artwork that you've already created. Very cool feature. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to control click the layer and select everything that, that's there. This is going to allow you to quickly select all the pixels on the screen, even the transparent ones or the mostly transparent ones. And then you can do all sorts of different things with this. There's also some new options here in the wet or dry layer. So here there's a little drop down here, wet the layer. What this is going to do, let's turn on show wet. This is going to wet everything on the layer. Again, you can see that this is right down here. This is the wet layer. All right. And here wet all visible. So let's dry the layer and the keyboard shortcuts here are uh, shift D shift V for wet all visible and shift L for wet the layer. So we just dried the entire layer. Now we're gonna do a new one. This one is called wet all visible. So this is gonna take just the pixels that are on this layer and it's going to wet them. So again, just gives you some more options and I think this is a really cool addition. All right guys, that's it for this video. I'll have a lot more information on masking layers, influence layers and tracing layers in our full tutorial coming soon. Right, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.